Alexis, thank you very much. AJ Petiti, always a pleasure. AJ, how's everything going? It is fantastic. You can see we're right in the middle of summer. Yeah. I mean, everything's in bloom. It is just gorgeous. Yeah, the garden's doing well. I just checked it out. But today we're talking about one of my favorite plants, hydrangeas. And I have a couple of questions on that. But I want you to take over, talk about hydrangeas. And, and, and you know, it's, a, it's something we haven't really talked about. And maybe some of the care, you know, if you happen to have one. And, well, I have a couple other questions, AJ. You just take over and we'll go from there. Absolutely. So before we get to hydrangeas, just really quickly, it's been dry. We're getting a little bit of moisture, but keep an eye on watering. So if you've got pots that are out there, hydrotain helps. It gets in the soil, helps retain moisture. And when you're watering, try to water in the morning. Make sure you're using, um, this is a, like a rain shower head, and try to keep it off the leaves. So try to just get down right by the soil when you go to water. And then within the garden, make sure that you're harvesting. So things are really starting to produce now. So make sure that you're harvesting. If you're seeing fungus, if you're seeing insects, make sure that you're spraying the fungus with copper fungicide and the insects um, with Captain Jacks, and you'll be in great shape. And then you also want to maintain, if you've been spraying your roses, make sure that you're continuing to spray your roses. So within hydrangea, I mean, they are beautiful and this is really their time to shine and they come in all different shapes and sizes so before they used to just be you know monstrous you know they've really done a great job of really bringing the size of the hydrangea down they still have the ones that get six eight feet tall if you want something that's a really nice barrier and we'll talk about that condylabra is really one of those so this will get about five six feet tall and kind of see the size of it but it's a beautiful paniculata hydrangea beautiful white flowers it's got lacy all these flowers will open up um, not quite to this extent. This is Bobo. This actually is a dwarf, so this will only get about three feet tall, which is great for a lot of gardens. Um, there's also, I mean, limelight gets six, seven feet tall, <laughs> but same type of flower. They really open up beautifully. What happens, and this AJ? is kind of what limelight... Yeah, what happens, AJ, if you have a hydrangea and it's not blooming, is there something you can do to kind of, you know, accelerate that process? So I would take a look at a couple things. One, make sure it's getting enough sunlight. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got it, it needs to get at least four, five, six hours of sunlight for it to bloom. And then there's something called triple phosphate. So this is a fertilizer that really helps promote blooming. So you want to hit it with this. You can try it now. It's a little bit late. You want to hit it usually more so in the spring. But I would take a look at, you know, one, how you're feeding it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, two, how much sunlight it's getting. And then really the triple phosphate will sure. help. If none of those help, mm -hmm. You know, I've, I have heard of hydrangeas, some varieties just not blooming. You know, it might be sure. time to just move it to an area that you don't want that show. Right. And then just put something in there with a little bit more color. So two questions real quick. Uh, the, the next one has to do with trimming them back. Uh, can you trim them back like you can, you like when, when you deadhead some of the other flowers we've talked about in the past? Or do you just let them bloom and then when they're done, you just let them go? And two, I know the deer like them. Is there any way to, you know, make them more deer resistant? So in terms of the trimming, you usually want to wait till after they're done blooming. So a lot of the varieties, especially the repeat bloomers, you can pretty much almost trim any time, and you can trim them back hard. The paniculata is like these guys right here. These guys, you know, you could do one of two things. After they're done blooming, you definitely want to take the flowers off because going through the winter, these will get really heavy, as you can imagine. So you want to take the flowers off. When they go dormant, you can go halfway you could even go as much as two-thirds of the way down if you really want to get them down and then they'll flush right back out through the summer uh spring and summer next year and that really helps make a really nice dense um tight shrub you know these are like the endless summer varieties and the less let's dance varieties same thing these guys you just want to take the the heads off after they get done blooming um when they go dormant you can trim them a little bit for shape you can trim them in the spring um and they'll be okay as they're going through. If you've got the old, old varieties like the Nico Blues, that stuff you just want to selectively prune in the spring. Um, see what, you know, which stems really didn't come back. Take those down and then that's how you really go through and trim them. In terms of, you know, they're not the most deer prone plant out there. They're not totally resistant. But the Paniciata is actually, these are um, fairly resistant. They've got a texture to the leaf where if you feel it, it's got like, um, almost like a shark type feel to it on the back where it's grippy. Um, but if you are seeing deer attack them, you can go ahead, you can hit them with plant skid, you can spray them. Um, and when you go to spray them, just mist them. And it's also a good idea with the deer repellents, make sure that you're switching those up. So, okay. you know, don't just use plant skid or don't just use liquid fence. There's three or four really good ones. Make sure that you're alternating every month. 
that'll help the deer keep guessing, and then that'll help you know keep the, the hydrangea protected and keep them a little bit you know safer as we're going through the season. Right. You know, especially from deer and, and everything right. else that's out there. And for the garden as well. Your 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 vegetable garden changed things up there too. Absolutely. All Absolutely. Right. I mean really for anything. So it's just a good practice to switch that up. Gotcha.